December. I think it sort of resonates now, but I want you all to realize that you may not always agree with the individual's personal politics, but we're all out here with the same grievances. Uh, it's called Dear America. It's uh, like a letter to America from me. America, we need to talk. America! This is serious. America, handguns only exist to kill humans. America, freedom of religion, when it's my religion. America, promoting Zionism won't get you into heaven. America, patriots are the ones who call you on your bullshit. America, open your mind. Different opinions are no cause for hatred. America, why do you feel you only have the power to change things once every four years? Amen. America, why are you so uninformed? Turn on the television. Let it hypnotize you into lethargy. America, why do you pay so little for hard labor and so much for simple tasks? Where is our living wage? America, it's all in who you know, right? Nepotism should be a national motto. Capitalism is destroying your soul. America, the American dream is an American scheme. Give a man something to lose so you'll have something to take. America, why are you so broken? Ellis Island isn't even welcoming anymore. Give us your huddled masses as political pawns. America, another filibuster? Legislate morality, ignore reality. Take a position against extremists, then further political cause with extremism. America, your checks and balances are no longer balancing and checking. We are a representative government with no one representing you. America, sign up for another credit card offer. Why do you feel it's so entitled to that 40-inch flat screen television and a new car every three years? America, you murder those who could lead you to greatness for humanity. What did you do to Malcolm X? Why did you take John Lennon from us? America, no more war, all right? Peacemakers are meant to stop atrocity, not create it. While we're speaking of wars, the war on drugs is a war on the poor. America, freedom of the press, freedom of brainwashing and destruction, distortion. The opium of the masses is ignorant. Why is our most poignant news coming from comedy shows? America, another young black man died in my neighborhood. Not newsworthy. Let's watch 24-hour news networks and get our fill of pretty young white women gone missing. America, who needs jobs when we can import widgets from China for .0285 cents each? Why pay our own to serve customers when call centers in India cost one-fifth of what it does here? He tells me his name is David, but he can barely speak English. America, you have slumbered for too long. You have feasted gluttonously on excess and your own delusions. America, please wake up. America, please wake up. Americans, please wake up. Thank you.